Well, the UofL women's basketball team off to another impressive season here, and they're currently 5-2 and two in conference play so far this year. And today, to discuss a little bit more about what the team has coming up this season, including a big week ahead and how you can support them, uh, Coach Jeff Walls here in the studio, first time since, what, before COVID? Before COVID, yes. Oh, my goodness, way, way too long, way too, too long, long, right? It is great to have you back. I and, appreciate it. Um, it's always great because I think your level of support for all of UofL athletics, it goes without saying, right? You are the, the head cheerleader, so we thought, <laughs> let's get you on because I feel like this is the time to really kind of get behind um, these ladies. You had, you know, a great comeback win against Florida State. Yes. No, I, I appreciate it. You know, I've been fortunate to, to, to be here for uh, for 16 years now. Oh uh, it's really hard to believe. And uh, yeah. we've been able to put a product out on the floor year in and year out that's been very competitive. Uh, this year, you know, it's been a little slower yeah. than, than some of the past, but I think well, you we're come off a season well. like you had last well, year. I feel like, you know, expectations are really high and you probably as a coach with these young athletes kind of have to temper that, right? Like well, it's great, like you said, to have expectations, but you don't always come out winning like right away. Well, now with the uh, transfer portal, yeah. you know, when you're adding new players each year, some new starters, some key reserves, and you're really trying to put a piece of the puzzle together, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Yeah. Where last year, you know, it just gelled from the beginning real quick uh, with our new ones. But now we're starting to play a lot better. I think they're getting more, <laughs> more, more comfortable with each other and it's been fun to watch. Now that's Emily from, yeah. la from, from la last year's team uh, that really gelled well, but we, we had a great win at Florida State. You sure did. Like, what are you giving to them before the fourth quarter, right? Well, what are you saying? I usually ask people what they say at <laughs> halftime, but forget about that. What are you saying? It was the, inner, <laughs> it, I think it was just, it came down to a little bit of urgency yeah. that, that we realized we had to get a road win. We had to get a good win. Right. Uh, in, Flor in Florida State's always been a difficult place for us to play. So, you know, very pleased. Can't say enough about Haley and her performance, right? But you've got, like, so many that, that are stepping up at this time that, you really can't single out one because you've just got a great team of young ladies that who are you seeing now that you're like, yes, that's what I want yep. to see from you. I was really pleased with with Morgan Jones. Uh, she played great on Sunday at Florida State, especially that's where she had transferred from. So, you know, a game where you're no going pressure, into a place right? where you played <laughs> for four years, uh, you've got some friendships and she performed extremely well. Uh, Olivia Cochran played well. <laughs> Mikasa mm -hmm. played well again. It's we're we're start we're starting to come into finding our finding your groove. Yes, at the sure right are. time with these two home games coming up this week. It's How you feel? Two in, two important games. Yeah. Bo Boston College has been playing very well. We have them on Thursday night at seven. Uh, it's a team that pl went to NC State and won N NC State. They also beat Fl uh, Florida State last week. Mm -hmm. So. We know it's going to be a very good basketball game. And then on Sunday, it's a 1 o'clock game on a ABC against NC State. So we're hoping both games to have great crowds. When you have kind of that network coverage, does it elevate kind of the nerves, the performance in a good way? Do you, do you sense like something a little bit different? I know the team, yeah, but is that that television performance you know too does that kind of come into play that you sense i think so I mean, we're, we're fortunate now that so many of our games yeah. are on tv with acc our our network their their national games but being an abc game on sunday right here on it's WHA. definitely yeah. going to be one where more eyeballs are going to be on us and i think it's exciting for the players and of course their families you have such a loyal fan base, and I have to yes. say, I mean, you know, and this is the time to kind of get out and support. I mean, they are there with you thick and thin, whether you're winning, when you're losing, nothing. It's just like, let's show up and let's support the women. Yeah, we are very blessed. It's, it's quite amazing, especially when you go on the road and you see yeah. the lack of support that yeah. some programs get. You know, if they're getting 1,000 or 2,000, it's, it's a great crowd. And for us, even on a, a slow night, it's 7,000. So we, we <laughs> just appreciate that? everyone yeah. here in, in Louisville, the ones that drive in to, to, to come out and support the, the, these ladies. So right before the season kicked off, you decided to have a little fun in the practice yes. facility, right? So we got it. Are we going to embarrass you by showing this no, video? You, you already it's, set uh, it out on no. Twitter, right? <laughs> you installed a slide. Is this from your office down to the... This, this slide comes from our 
coach. It, it, it's our main room. <laughs> so, you know, our players come upstairs to meet with us and talk with us instead of having to walking down the steps That's each too much time, work, yeah. I was trying to I'm come up it. with a little something, just some fun for them. And at the same time, it does encourage them to come up to the office more. You know, so which is oh, yeah. part of it. It's, yeah. We're trying to build re re relationships with them as much as we can off the basketball court. Absolutely. And what it kind of way. encourages that. And for them to see you slide down it too, you're like, come on, not that hard. Oh, I can it's do fine. it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have some humility here and, and do this. We need one in here. Yes, you know you what? Then everybody yeah. can go <laughs> right down, right down. Uh, well, again, um, thank you. I know it's a busy schedule right now and there's a lot you. going on and we appreciate you always taking time. And and sorry we haven't had you on since like COVID. We're back open and, and we got to have you on more. Definitely. I appreciate it. And, and meet some of the athletes as well once the season kind of wraps up because we you do a great job too and I know you have a, a great group but they're student athletes they're, they're they're working hard at their academics they're balancing that and they're balancing kind of their community involvement too and it's always good to kind of see them out in the community doing yeah, things no they're For sure. they're a great group that work extremely hard in the, the classroom and on the court sure do all right Thanks so much. Thank well, you. your next chance to catch the cards in action uh, here at home is Thursday night as they take on Boston College at the KFC Yum Center at 7 o'clock. Then that other game coming up on Sunday as well. Tickets still available. Get out there and support them as well.